have to do something about that. You know, in the ESG initiative concept of it, the world of enterprise software, we're actually pretty good on the E side, right? We generate, you know, we use a lot of power and we also, you know, have carbon footprints associated with travel. But for the most part, we're pretty clean. But it's the S part. Okay, the impact of call it, you know, social. How do we actually make a more inclusive environment? We have had to do it by necessity because we need talented people. And if you stuck to the traditional pools of people, you couldn't actually fill the roles and the jobs. I've got 75,000 plus employees. I have 5,000 open recs. If I just go to the same place as everyone else has gone, I can't fill those recs. I'm especially curious about how you think the African American community thinks about the idea of capitalism. Sure. Sure, that's a, that's a long conversation. If you, if you think about it, capital, this whole idea of capital versus labor. Capitalism still is the most efficient system on the planet for uplifting humanity generally. But of course, you know, in general we go up, but we have individual pockets that don't necessarily participate. African Americans have traditionally not participated. In fact, you know, you go look at the, you know, the Homestead Act, the Southern Homestead Act, you know, redlining around your communities, inability to actually gain a foothold in the capital part of capitalism. And so they've always been part of the labor part, right? right. And that's the mm -hmm. dynamic. So part of what we have to do and what we do do is how do you move them into capital? There's been announcements about how do you drive capital into these communities, some of which are policy driven, okay? some of which are actually individual and some are philanthropic. So I think we now have the first time in the history of this planet where you can actually generate capital, not owning capital, i.e. intellectual property, using technology, okay, in one generation. But you have to get on-ramped into this technology revolution. You gotta get on-ramped. Internships, experiences that actually get you into these software companies, these technology companies. President Trump's often talked about um, what he says is uh, record unemployment for, for African Americans in the United States mm -hmm. under his administration. Do you think the African American community appreciates that point? I, I think, you know, if, if you didn't have a job and you have one now, you do appreciate it. You know, when did it start? Is it now, et cetera? But, you know, we've got record unemployment. That, from what I can tell, that is true. Now, the real question is, is it just leading to income or is it actually leading to wealth? You know, part of what I think about it is how do you convert that income to wealth? Well, typically in America, it's been through land ownership. What does that mean? Buying a house, having to be for that house to actually appreciate the neighborhoods and being able to borrow and use the capital to send your kids to school so they have the next opportunity to increase the capital right. base in your family. So, like all things, it's a great start to get income, but we now have to convert right. that income to capital into these communities. Tell me about the Morehouse donation. Tell me how you thought to do that. How did it come about? When you see a child liberated, and music can liberate you, education can liberate you, and in some cases, the liberation of a burden of debt, because you took the initiative to go to a college, to get educated, take on debt, and then your family, your mother, your grandparents took on debt so that you could be the first one in your, in your family to graduate from college, to go get a job, and now you have a burden of debt that may prevent you from actually buying a house for another 20, 25 years. So when I thought about my capacity as a human being, as an African American, as an African American male business person, what's a good way to liberate a spirit? What's a good way to liberate 400 spirits 400 years after 1619? And so when I thought about it, I said, this is a good way to do it.